Let's discuss this question next. Show that 9 power n plus 1 minus 8 n minus 9 is divisible by 64 whenever n is a positive integer. Positive integer would imply n is a natural number basically. Show that 9 power n plus 1 is divisible by 64. Now what's important over here is this 64 is basically a special number related to which is related to this 9 power n plus 1 in some way. Some way. What's the way in which it is related? That 64 is the square of 8 and yes this 9 can be written as 8 plus 1. Okay, so we'll begin with this 9 power n plus 1 and try to use binomial expansion on this. Rest other numbers are pretty simple. This is power n plus 1 which is a bit complicated, right? For this will require binomial expansion and for that this should be written in a binomial form that is 9 can be written as 8 plus 1. The target in such questions is, whenever you encounter such questions, the target is generally to write, target is generally to write this 9, this base, base of 9 as, we, are, we want to divide with 64, right? 64 is 8 square. So, that divisor is important. 9 has to be written as 8 plus 1. In general, whenever you have k power n, k has to be written as k has to be written as something lambda plus or minus 1, where either lambda is the divisor, either lambda is a divisor, or 2 lambda, 3 lambda, etc. are divisors, or for that matter, lambda square or lambda cube are dividers, divisors. What are you saying over here? We are simply saying that. In case of 9, we are supposed to write it as 8 plus 1, 9 power n plus 1. In case of k, we can write k as lambda plus or minus 1. In terms of the second term can be, should be 1. Okay, the benefit of this is, this can be, this particular expression can be written if divisor is this, this, this or something of this sort, right? Like we have 8 square, that is 64 over here. Right, okay. That's easy, yes, that's easy. Let's get rid of this, we don't need this for now. What next? Let's try to solve this question first and see how do we solve this further. So we can write 9 as 8 plus 1. That's the first thing that I observe. 9 can be done as 8 plus 1. So 9 power n plus 1. Let's focus on this. This can be done as 8 plus 1 power n plus 1. And what does that simplify to? What does it simplify to? So this simplifies to n plus 1 times C, n plus 1 c0 times 8 power n plus 1 okay that's the first thing plus n plus 1 c1 times 8 power n and similarly you have you'll have plenty of terms what about the last few terms last few terms yes the last term for that matter would be let's write the last term over here that will be n plus 1 c n plus 1 times 8 power 0 1 power n plus 1 which is 1 only the term before that will be n plus 1 c n 1 lesser than this and you'll have 8 power 1 1 power n which is 1 only plus you'll have n plus 1 c n minus 1 times 8 square yes plus will you have something else right let me write one more term this is n plus 1 c n minus 2 8 power 3 1 power n minus 2 which is pretty simple right Okay. Now, in case of divisibility, our target is very simple. In case of divisibility, let me explain one more thing over here. In case of divisibility, one more thing is very important that, that if, if some number n is divisible by, is divisible by k, if some number n is divisible by k, then, then n can be written as k times some lambda. Lambda is some integer. If n is divisible by k, then n can be represented as k lambda. Now, where do you ob obtain this result from? This result is obtained directly from Euclid's division lemma, which says that if you have a number a, you want to divide by the number b, you'll have some quotient q and some remainder r. If you have any number a, when divided by the by the number b, you'll get some quotient and you'll get some remainder 
a will be equal to this bq plus r dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder that's what we have yes and if r is 0 then you can say that a is divisible by b if remainder is 0 then you can say that a is divisible by b so a can be done as b times some integer over here b times q for example similarly for any number n if it is divisible by k it can be done as k times lambda where lambda is some positive integer right so that's the idea that we'll be using over here since 9 power n plus 1 is already there we are supposed to write 9 power n plus 1 minus 8 and minus 9 and that could be written as 64k if it could be written as 64k then we can say that yes it is divisible by 64 that's a target yes that's a target and for that target we have used one particular expression that's this now each of these expressions has something special this is 1 which is very simple that's not need to worry about that this is n plus 1 cn which is n plus 1 times 8 which is okay but this is 8 square observe this expression this is 8 square 8 cube and all from all of these terms if you want you can take a 8 square common because all of these have minimum 8 square in each of these terms right so what you can do is you can take 8 square common from here and what you get is n plus 1 c0 8 power n minus 1 which is an integer plus similar terms the last term that you'll have is this n plus 1 c n minus 1 and this also is an integer right so all of these will be positive integers right okay plus you have n plus 1 c n which is n plus 1 times 8 and plus you have n plus 1 c n plus 1 which is 1 right can we take all of these terms on the LHS? Yes. Okay. So, this is equal to 64 times some integer. Some positive integer actually. This, all of these terms are integers. Therefore, addition will also be some integer. Plus, let's simplify this on the RHS first of all. This is 8n plus 8 plus 1 which is 9 yes and now I'll take that on the left hand side because this is equal to 9 power n plus 1 on the left hand side over here since this is the case this becomes 9 power n plus 1 excuse me minus 8 n minus 9 on the LHS is equal to 64 times some integer 64 times some integer okay so that gives me that gives me that 9 power n plus 1 minus 8 and minus 9 is equal to 64 times some integer what does this give us this tells us that 9 power n plus 1 minus 8 n minus 9 is divisible by 64 is divisible by 64 and yes this is what we want to do proof this simply implies that this is divisible by 64. a is equal to bq plus r if r becomes 0 a is equal to bq and a is divisible by b we say that a is divisible by b but the first step let's not forget the first step that helped us to actually solve this in this manner using binomial theorem that's the use of binomial theorem and there's a complete solution for this question over there